ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to get started. Good morning, I am Heather Merritt, Public Information Officer for the Tallahassee Police Department. It is my honor to welcome everyone to the City Commission Chambers for today's promotion ceremony of our newest police sergeants. The host for today's ceremony is Police, police Chief Lawrence Revel. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise for the invocation, the posting of the colors, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, everyone. Shall we pray? Kind of righteous Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this day, thankful for life, health, and strength. Father, we're thankful at this time for Damon and Felicia, who you have both prepared for this day. You've given them the ability, the experience, and the wherewithal for this task. We just pray that as they take on this new position of leadership, that they will be proper and fit mentors, that they will lead and guide their squads and the protection of the citizens of Tallahassee. Bless us in our efforts on this day, and we just ask that you continue to watch over them, be with the Tallahassee Police Department and the city of Tallahassee and our nation as a whole. This is our prayer in the name of your darling Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Honor Guard, host the colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and you may be seated. You know, I, I absolutely love, you know, doing these ceremonies. It's one of the, you know, next to bragging on the men and women of the Tallahassee Police Department is probably my favorite part of the job. Um, and especially true um, when, when uh, the ones getting promoted, or at least one of the ones getting promoted, um, worked for me on a squad many, many years. I won't tell you how many years ago, because she's still very young, but... Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great joy for that. But you know, please allow me to, to welcome all of you um, here today and thank you for being here. We especially want to thank our, our, um, our distinguished guests that are here, uh, Deputy City Manager Cynthia Barber, City Treasurer Clerk Jim Cook, Assist Assistant City Manager Raul Lavin, City Attorney Cassandra Jackson, that's it. Um, I also want to thank our fire department brothers uh, and sisters that are here, uh, Chief Jones, Chief Sanders, and Chief Brown. Thank you all for being here. And as always, thank you to our retirees um, who always show up and support us. So thank you all for being here. Um, and at this time, I'll ask D.C. Holmes uh, to come up and recite the Tallahassee Police Department's core values. Core values of the Tallahassee Police Department. Trust. The fundamental cornerstone of policing is establishment of trust and truthfulness under all conditions. We pledge to conduct every police action in a legal, ethical, and moral manner. We pledge to maintain a strong sense of honesty, morality, nobility, and ethical behavior. We wish to serve as role models for our youth, our community, and our profession. Loyalty. As, an individ as individuals and as an organization, we will remain loyal to the badge and profession we swore to honor and to responsibly, uh, and to responsibly it represents. 
through adherence of our principles of duty, honor, and courage, we pledge our loyalty to the mission of the Tallahassee Police Department and to those we serve and protect. Commitment. We value our commitment to this community as being vital to our department's success. We will treat all persons in a dignified and courteous manner. Re respecting ethical and cultural diversity in the deliverance of quality police services. We guarantee to uphold the rights, privileges, principles, and values embodied in the Constitution of the United States and the state of Florida. Many years ago, the individuals who we honor today chose to commit their life to public service. They were typical as most young adults, struggling with the age-old tradition of selecting a career path. Little did they know that they chose a profession that would become a true calling. As police officers entrusted with the public's confidence, they declared their commitment to the highest ethical and moral standards, bearing and behavior. As a police officer, they chose to place themselves in harm's way to serve and protect the rights of others. They have shown true to devotion to their family, their professional career, and the concept of service before self. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please allow me to introduce you to our newest sergeants. Sergeant Damon Miller, Jr., pinned by his wife, Dr. Kelly Miller. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Sergeant Felicia Mordica, pinned by her aunt, Lisa Ross. Sergeants, please stand. Deputy Chief Tanya Bryant-Smith will now read the Police Sergeant's Creed. I am a police sergeant, a leader of people. I am proud of the Police Sergeant Corps and will conduct myself at all times so as to bring credit upon it. I will never lose my grade or position to obtain profit or refuge. I am a first-line supervisor. Competence is my watchword. I will remain tactfully and technically proficient. I will strive to know my employees and I accept a challenge to maximize their capabilities. I always place their needs above my own. I lead by example. My charge is to train competent and compassionate officers, the future leaders of this organization. My loyalty and dedication are unwavering. Integrity and moral courage guide my actions. I pledge to keep my faith with my cause, those I serve, those I lead. I am a professional. I am a leader. I am a police sergeant. Everyone, please stand. Attention to orders. By order of the city manager, Reese Goad, the following individuals are hereby promoted, effective this date, Friday, September 24th, 2021. Sergeant Damon Miller, Jr., ID number 275. Sergeant Felicia Mordica, ID number 293. 
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please extend your congratulations to our newest police sergeants at the Tallahassee Police Department. You may be seated. Chief Revel will now provide his closing remarks. You know, the, the, uh, the times when we uh, spend you know, day in and day out doing this job um, prepare us each step of the way if we're, if we're willing to work. Um, and when I went through, where we went through this process um, to select sergeants, um, you know, it, it, was, it was a pretty easy choice. And that's, that's saying a lot because the list of candidates that we had are very, very qualified. Um, and, um, but when you look at the quality of work um, that both Damon and Felicia have put forward um, over their entire careers, um, it, it was a pretty easy choice for me. Um, you know, they are both good people first, you know, and foremost. Um, and then they are also great officers uh, on top of that. And so when we have that, and, and again, like I say, our list is very full and we are very blessed to have um, those type of people. Um, but um, I talk with each one of them um, when I come in. And if you've been to a promotion ceremony before, you've heard me talk about these five things. And, and you're going to hear it again because it is so important. And I say it all the time. I say it to our new hirees. And I certainly say it to our new promotees, um, to supervisor rank. There are five things which speak to the core of the people that we are. And those five things um, make up who we are as individuals, but they also make up who we are as police officers. And if we are these people that, that we should be, um, then the future of the Tallahassee Police Department and the future of the Tallahassee Police Department and its relationship with the citizens of the city of Tallahassee can only improve. And so Damon and Felicia both know we sat down and we talked about these things. Um, but the first one is integrity. Uh, because everything we do is based on the integrity that we have. Um, and, and our community has to trust that. They have to trust that we are going to do the right thing in the right situation. Um, and that hasn't always happened across the nation. And that has hurt that integrity that, that of this profession that you know, we love so much. I don't question that with Damon or Felicia. I know their integrity. I, I know what they stand for and how strongly they stand for that. The second thing is initiative. And that simply talks about getting out and getting it done. You know? And when you look at their careers and the things that they've accomplished, you can see that they have taken that initiative. Um, and I have no doubt that they're going to impart that knowledge and that initiative into the new officers um, that they are going to be supervising. And they both promised me they would. <laughs> so, um, the next thing is ownership, and we talk a lot about ownership at the police department, and, and you know, not only owning our own actions as individuals, um, both positive things and when we, make, when we make mistakes, but ownership is also about protecting that honor that the Tallahassee Police Department has, and protecting that profession that we love, and protecting the people people, the men and women, not only that work for us, but of the citizens that, that we come in contact with. And I'll talk a little bit more about that on the last one. The fourth thing I talk about is relationships, because every single thing we do is based on relationships. And I told the squads last night at check-on, you know, that you're constantly developing relationships. You're either developing positive relationships or you're developing negative relationships. But every single interaction you have with somebody is developing a relationship. And again, when you talk about Damon and Felicia and you talk about the people that they are, it's easy to see the relationships that they have and how strong they are. And that is because of the way that they treat people um, and the way they respect people and interact with people. Um, again, just these qualities, they, they exude these qualities, again, which is why my decision was pretty easy this time. The last thing I talk about with, with new promotees and, and new officers is humanity and our authority. And that is simply treating people like human beings. You know, we deal with people in their worst settings. You know, we deal with people when they're not acting <laughs> their best. 
Um, you know, typically they're not calling us if things are going great, you know, just to hang out and sit on the porch and, you know, have some lemonade. We would love that, so please call us for that. Um, but typically when we get called, things are not going well. Um, but that doesn't mean in any way, shape, or form that we don't treat the people we are dealing with with respect and with dignity, you know. And, and that has to happen in every single encounter that we come into. Doesn't mean we, we might have to affect an arrest. We might have to chase somebody. We might have to tackle somebody. You know, Th those things are part of the jobs that we do, and they have both done that over their careers. Um, but once that scene is secure, and once that person is secure, we pick that person up, and we dust them off, we get them something to drink, and we have a conversation with them like a human being. Um, and you'll be amazed, and they, they know this, and we've talked about this, you know, that you'll be amazed you hear that, that people thank you for taking them to jail. Well, they're not really thanking you for taking them to jail. They're thanking you for treating them like a human being in this situation. And that's what we demand from all of our officers, and that's certainly what the two here sitting before you bring. So it is truly my honor um, to promote both of you, um, my friends, as, as well, and that always just, you know, that's just an added bonus. Um, but I look forward to your careers. You know, I've challenged both of you um, with what you're going to face and what you're going to accomplish, and I know that you are going to hold that standard. I have no doubt, and you're going to raise that standard. So congratulations. Today is all about you, and you've certainly earned it. Thank you. Deputy Chief Maurice Holmes will now give the benediction. Can we all stand to our feet, please? Bow our heads and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for this ceremony. We thank you right now for these two leaders. Father God, we pray right now that you impart your glow and your glory within them, Father. Allow them to lead these men and women of this organization. Father God, I pray right now that you keep the hedge of protection around them and keep the hedge of protection around their family as well, Father. Keep it strong. Cover them with that precious and powerful blood and flow through them and go before, before them. Father God, we give you all praise, honor, and glory, and all thanks for this day, this ceremony, these two leaders, and this Tallahassee Police Department and the city of Tallahassee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our promotion ceremony. We thank you for coming. Photos can now be taken, and we invite you to enjoy refreshments in the lobby. Thank you. Mm -hmm.